Software engineering is a young field, and by all accounts, it's probably the youngest if you compare it to computer science and other disciplines. Oftentimes, people ask the question, when software engineering as a discipline or a profession was started? And for that, we have to go back six decades. And it started at NASA during the Apollo 11 mission. During that time, in 1963, early days for the space program and the mission to land a person on the moon, software encoding was not seen as a big component of that mission. Now, enter Margaret Hamilton, a young mathematician who was working at NASA at that time, who saw things differently and worked really hard and diligently to change that. In fact, she is credited with coining the term software engineering. By the end of that decade, around 1968, 1969, it became apparent that software is a critical part of landing a person on the moon. That takes us to kind of the, uh, the next story or the next chapter in software engineering. About two decades ago, uh, August uh, 20th, 2011, Mark Anderson, who uh, established Netscape, which is credited with uh, internet browsers, which makes up our world today, published an article in uh, Wall Street Journal titled Software is Eating the World, and argued that every company, every organization, every domain will be impacted by software. So you should change now. If we take it all the way to today, we see that software now has entered every domain and every aspect, from business to education to government. We have software running our world, uh, software creating meaning, creating money, and many people around the world will experience software for the first time. I think the uh, statistics uh, currently is about 6.37 billion people in the world who are experiencing software through their smart devices. That's more than 80% coverage. So if we look at what we are doing today and working with these smart devices, ask yourself, what makes your device smart? There's only one answer software. You take the software out and it becomes either a plain device or a dumb device or a plain old phone. So we see software as still eating the world and software will be the driver of all new innovations for the next decade and beyond.